Hello and welcome back. Today we are broadcasting from a double secret location. Double secret location. We can't tell you where we are. We don't even know where we are. Double secret probation since the beginning of this semester. Double secret probation? I need to do this every time. <laughs> Just one other time. There's one other time. Two other times. No, one time. Anyway, SDCC 2018. This is the complete breakdown of everything that Bunko is putting out for SDCC 2018, which is, once again, quite a lot. Yeah. And we're going to show everything to everybody here really quickly, talk about our wish list, and take it from there. Yeah. And also watch out because in the coming weeks, when they do the announcements for where you can find the shared releases we'll do a video on that at that time as soon as possible so that you can see where you can begin your hunt and good luck it's not always that easy no. sometimes depending upon what it is it's easier afterwards because there's some uh stuff from the last comic con it's nobody could around. find nobody could find it and there's tons of it still sitting in hot topic sitting in yeah. uh in um Barnes and Noble, and then the day the day the releases, nobody knew what you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Like what? Those are no, we don't have that. And then now they still have them. Yeah. So that's what happens. And starting off with Stranger Things, they get a Bill and Karen two pack. They have Dustin uh, from the Snowball Dance, and who is that? Steve, Steve with, with bandana. bandana. Steve Dorbs. with bandana Dorbs. Nothing we're interested in. But you might be. My guess is a lot of that will end up at Hot Topic. Yeah, they get a lot of the Stranger, stranger Things thing stuff. And Target. Target. It's a lot of Stranger Things yeah, exclusives. Target gets a lot of things they shouldn't. Yeah. Game of Thrones. They have uh, Olena Tyrell and a Dragon's four pack and I don't know why they bother to sit there and say that it's four different dragons it's the same dragon painted four different ways <laughs> it's it's neat but again you know we don't do Game of Thrones yeah. masters of the universe Stinkar scented as he should be <laughs> the original was scented. the original was scented that's right Ram man who is we Obviously, we know that's going to Toy Tokyo. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a tough pickup. Yeah. And the vinyls, Skeletor and Faker 2-pack, which shouldn't be too bad. Um, vinyls are just not picking up. Yeah, they're not. They're like, not. I've, I've, I like them. Um, they grow on me. Mm -hmm. So I usually pick up the ones that I collect. So I like the yeah. vinyls. We've got the Pop Star Wars Clone Wars. Cad Bane, which is an interesting looking pop, and then the Imperial Stormtrooper from the Solo movie going to SDCC. They look like all the other uh, Stormtroopers. Well, they all have a similar look because of the type of uniform it is. You've got Black Lady from Sailor Moon. Mm -hmm. You've got the Super Saiyan Vegeta in gold chrome going to Toy Tokyo. You've got Dead Yamcha which is not going to be easy to find. Yeah, I think that's going to be popular. That's going to be a popular one. You've got Super Saiyan Broly, which I already had a, a, a little bit of a problem with because if, those of you who are big Dragon Ball fans, you remember when Broly powered up, he was green, not yellow. Thanks, Funko. And finally, Metallic Wiss, which is going to be at the Funimation booth. I don't think you're going to be able to get that anywhere else. That one actually looks cool. I like the coloring, the mm -hmm. metallic, on that blue metallic. I think that's yeah. pretty good. More animation. You've got Hellboy. You've got Tarna from Heavy Metal, who is, again, Toy Tokyo. You've got the Saga Flocked Gus in his pajamas, which I think is going to be an actu actually a pretty popular one with a lot of people. They're going to be looking out for that one. And Alana as a rock candy, hmm. which will be everywhere. Yeah, now, the rock, rock candy don't do well yeah, either. Yeah, they haven't really taken off either. 
yeah. despite the uh, be seemingly being rather popular. Yeah. DC stuff, you've got the Red Hood, which I guess a lot of people have been looking out for, wanting for a while, the Red Hood, which of course is a Robin incarnation. Killer Moth with a baby. Baby Moth there, or some kind of bug. The Flash. That is a telephone. <laughs> I'll answer it later. Oh, yeah. well. And the Flash Chrome three pack, which makes no sense. Yeah. I think it makes no sense to put three of the exact same figure in the same <laughs> package. <laughs> in the same pose, and it's the same pose as the single Flash. Yeah. So. Uh, I don't know about that one. I don't know how I feel yeah, about that. Yeah, that's kind of lame. Yeah. You've got White Lantern, which is just a repaint of the Green Lantern, and he is either white or green. Mm. And these are both going to be at the Fugitive Toys booth at the Comic Con. It's the only place you're going to be able to pick them up, unless mm. you can order it from them. Directors James Wan, limited to a thousand, and Taika Waititi, I guess is his name limited to 3,000 pieces and they have to limit they have to put limits on these because it's the only way that they'll sell <laughs> the only way they'll sell out yeah, sorry guys I, I don't think so. I don't think these are something that people are scrambling for yeah you know but you know how it is with Funko if they put a number on it yeah it'll it, be popular yeah it'll be popular moving on to Marvel you've got Thor with the Odin force that is the Valkyrie next to him on the right. Cheerleader Deadpool. Classic 70s Ant Man on the bottom right there. You've got Kraglin, who is taking over for, um, what was his name? I can't remember. Yondu. Yondu, that's right. Taking over for Yondu. Iron Man Mark I or the original scrap Iron Man that he put together in the first film. Captain America and and um, Red Skull 2-pack, draw a blank there, and Jessica Jones. I thought that might have been Jessica Jones when I saw it the first time, but I wasn't sure. I haven't really watched the show. I've seen Jessica Jones when they collaborated the Marvel shows together, which I didn't like that. I liked them better when they were individual shows before they brought everybody together. Mm. I think they did a lot better individually. But I never watched the actual Jessica Jones show. And you've got Asuka from WWE. You've got uh, Josie as Josie and the Pussycats from Riverdale. And Ron Swanson from Parks and Recreations. And then another toy, Tokyo, which is the Green Hornet and Kato 2-pack. Nothing there I'm interested in. Spastic Plastic, Gil and Sam. And the Spastic Plastic line is actually kind of cool, and it's a throwback to the Rat Fink designs from the early to mid-60s. So I'm kind of into that a little bit. Golden Girls Skateboard for when you want to be really hardcore. And then the Crunchberry Beast going into their Ad Icons line, which I didn't see that one coming. Mm -hmm. Although a lot of the stuff that we've talked about in our previous videos for uh, Ad Icons are being done. We have a pre we have a video we did not too long ago with Ad Icons they should make, and it's like Funko watched our video and have run off most of the list now. You've got the. Pop Icons Captain Crunch. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, the Captain Crunch four pack for Dorbs. And then the Yummy Mummy and Fruit Brute vinyl two pack. And we're still going. Yeah. We're still going. You've got Espresso Trip, Tina, and Unicorn from Bob's Burgers, which I don't watch that show. Western Rick and Western Morty. And then a Red and Snippy two pack, and all this is is a Dorbs version of the two pack they did last time in pop form. Mm. Lazy. 
kind of. And then the Pop Tees Rick and Morty Collector's Box with the Moon Men vinyl record and t-shirt limited to 1,500 pieces. So that'll be show only. Mm -hmm. Anything with a number on it, it's going to either be show only or Funko shop. The, if you, yeah, you've got about 12 seconds to pick it up on the Funko shop that day. <laughs> Captain Caveman, which is a, an old favorite of mine on the show it was a Hanna-Barbera cartoon mm -hmm. and he reach into his fur and he'd pull like anything out of there <laughs> you've got uh, the vinyl two-pack of Quick Draw McGraw and Bob Louie you've got Dick Dastardly and Muttley from Wacky Racers and then you see uh, Snorkel or Snorky who is the first of the banana splits and there's the other three then of course Playboy Penguin down in the bottom right. And finally, you and the phone. It's my dad. <laughs> Everybody wants to call me right now. Everybody wants to call you all the time because you're popular. <laughs> finally, on the uh, Warner Brothers, Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew. And We'll just breeze over this. This is some uh, bags and accessories that are going to be available. Limited runs. I mean, limited, like as in five, three to five hundred pieces. Oh each. wow! I didn't realize it was that yeah. limited. Show only. But you know, that's not the, we don't do that kind of stuff anyway. Yeah. And then you've got the uh, Pain and Panic two pack from Hercules. The organizational thirteen Mickey Mickey Mouse. Um, for uh, yeah, unhooded for Kingdom Hearts, uh, Edna, uh, Jack Jack, the Edna Jack Jack, or Jack Jack as Edna, Wreck It Ralph, eight bit, Fix It Felix, eight bit, Tomota, in uh, neon colors, or black light colors, and Skeeter Valentine, Skeeter Valentine, who was previously uh, shown. But they never did anything with it, and mm -hmm. now I guess the, they had shown it prematurely, and he's slated for SDCC. Nearly Headless Nick, Moaning Myrtle, Glow Versions, and then uh, Scott Pillion, Scott Pillion, Enunciate, Scott Pilgrim, Two Pack, and a Vinyls Scott Pilgrim Two Pack. So a Pop Two Pack and a Vinyl Two Pack. And then uh, Royal Tannenbaum's Richie and Margaret two pack. That's a limited edition of 2,900 pieces. And then finally, the Nux car from Max, Max, uh, Mad Max Fury Road. I don't know why I wanted to say that backwards. Mad Max Fury Road limited edition to 500 in the black box. 5,000. 5,000. That's a lot. Yeah, for all, it's going to be a popular one, I think. Mm -hmm. And then two games, Destiny Sweeperbot and Overwatch Grill Master Soldier 76. And that's everybody. Yay! That's, that's everything that they've announced. That should be it. That's enough. I know. I was hoping to get through this unscathed without getting uh, my fingers singed because when the first wave was announced a couple of weeks ago, I looked at it and I was like, oh, good. There's nothing here I want. Yeah. It was like that for a few weeks. Yeah. And then they got the second wave. Weird. Second wave came out and we found stuff yeah. that we wanted. And this is the most I've ever wanted. Oh, here we go. Since I've been. And, and it is a lot, I must uh -huh. admit. Um, the Hercules two pack of Pain and Panic. Yeah, I do want that because I do have the Hercules set, so I would like that. Everything except for the Chase Hades from yeah, Hot Topic. The hot to yeah, the Yeah, so I don't have Couldn't that. Get that one. Yeah, and it's expensive right now, so I'll just hold out. Mm -hmm. Kingdom Hearts hooded Mickey, the um unhooded. What, yeah, unhooded. I got unhooded too. Unhooded Mickey, um, for my Mickey Mouse set. Yeah. The vinyl two pack of Quick Draw, McGraw, and um, Baba Louie. Yeah. Um, Looney Tunes, both Peppy Pew and um, Playboy Penguin. Mm -hmm. Captain Crunch, Crunch Berry. Um, Bad the, icon figure. Yeah. yeah. Um, yummy Mummy and uh, Fruit Brute. The vinyl, vinyl two pack. pack. 
and um, the entire masses of the universe wave. Um, I'm, I'm all right, you know, probably won't get the Ram Man because it's Toy Tokyo. Yeah. And if you've been collecting and doing the uh, Comic Cons for a while, you know when Toy Tokyo gets something, they put these strict rules on you. So we'll see what the rules are this year. Um, but, you know, whatever. And then maybe later I'll get that Dick Dastardly and Muttley, the vinyl two pack. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of sure that'll be hanging around for a while. So I'm not really concerned on getting it right away. But I yeah. would like it if it's available when I go pick up everything else or try to get as much as I can. Yeah. I'll pick it up. If not, then I'll just wait around. It'll, it'll show up. Yeah, and it's and anything that's going through the uh, Funko shop, it's uh, it, it's like trying to hit the lottery anyways. You know, I had I had uh, gotten the the Dorbs of, what Jaga. was his name, Jaga, the uh, ghost of Jaga, and they canceled my order. Yeah, and so you were able to get it, put it in the, I, in the card. I got and it, and they it. charged my card. They charged my card, and then, like, Two weeks later, they refunded the money and canceled my order. Yeah, I don't so know what's like, up with that, but they've been doing that a while, especially when um, mm -hmm. an item is real popular. You get to order it, put it in the cart, pay for it, check out. They take your money, and then all of a sudden, without warning, without any type of notice or email, they just yeah. refund your money. They don't I had heard you any complaints reason about why. that. And that's ridiculous. That's not good business. No. Oh, I guess they figure everybody else is already mad at them. Yeah. But uh, on mine, I've got the Spastic Plastic Gill and Sam. I don't have anything from the Spastic Plastic line, but I like the Spastic Plastic because it's reminiscent of Rat Fink. I don't know I mean, what that's, Rat Well, you're not is. quite that old. <laughs> but, yeah, it's from the 60s. I mean, some of these guys know what I'm talking about when I talk about the Rat Fink line. The Crunchberry Beast. Mm -hmm. I'm down for that. Stinkor and Ram Man. Mm -hmm. The Captain Crunch Dorbs four pack. Yeah. I like that. I like the Ren and Stimpy Dorbs two pack also. Yeah. Which I don't have no, anything from uh, Ren and Stimpy. I don't have any of the any of the pops or the Dorbs, but I, I'd like to work on that. Captain Caveman, because it's Hanna Barbera, and the Banana Splits, all four of them. Mm -hmm. I, I remember that show very well, so I think that'd be cool. And Organizational 13, or Organization 13, Mickey, because I do have the complete first wave of the Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. I did not bother with the second wave because I was put off by that chase. The chase was a, over $140, like $148 people wanted, 143 and I'm like, God, and it's gone down a lot. But I still haven't gone back and gotten Wave 2 of the Kingdom Hearts, mm -hmm. even though it's gotten cheaper. So we'll see. Yeah. But that's uh, that's the complete list of both waves of the SDCC 2018. Remember, we will do a follow-up, letting people know where they can find what on their hunts. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we're looking for, if we have any luck. And so the question is, what are you looking for? Yeah. What, what would you like to see? Go ahead and put what you're hunting for in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. We sure do appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share the love. Share the love. <laughs> What's wrong with you? And find us on Instagram, Open by Chance on Instagram. And we do have a P.O. box if you wanted to correspond with us. Mm -hmm. So if that's it. Anything else? No. Nope. Nothing else? Okay. Well, then we will see you again soon, and thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.